Welcome to the show, guys. Happy Tuesday. And I've got an exciting one here for you. It's one of the most hyped up episodes where I completely unleash. We are talking about fantasy football players that suck from every single team. I'm going to go from A and I'm going to go right down to Z. And I'm going to hand pick these players and tell you straight up, they've had years to wow me, guys. And guess what? I'm not wowed. Fantasy football players that suck from each team, A to Z. I'm ready to dive in. Buckle up, guys. It's going to be a good one. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the show, guys. We are talking about fantasy football players that suck. And you got to stay away from them because they've had years to wow us, guys, and we're not wowed. And this is why I'm wearing the no sheep shirt today because we're not going to take part on the copy and paste rankings and draft these guys. So buckle up, guys. It's going to be super exciting. If you're new to the channel, guys, smash it, tap it, slap it, hit the thumbs up, guys. It'll. I'm telling you guys, this channel is the only place giving you the truth. Everybody else is copying and pasting. Remember, last year they told you, Tony Pollard round one. What did I tell you last year? He sucks. Ed, people continue to draft him round one. How about uh, Austin Eckler? What did I tell you for years about that guy? That guy sucks. And what did you guys do? Draft him. Well, not people that got 16 rounds, but other people, right? And, and on and on and on. Mike Williams. Everyone told you to draft him round five. He sucks as well. And I, it was in my suck episode. So you guys want to listen about players that suck. So you don't draft them and fall into the pit that everybody kind of lures you in every single season. All right. Years to wow us. We're not wowed is actually a real thing. I didn't just create that saying because it sounds cool, but it's actually a real thing. So again, if you're new to the channel, hit the thumbs up. It really helps the channel. I am an independent and I, I noticed, I looked at the analytics, 70% of the people that are watching this channel are not subscribed. I'm getting like a lot of views. It's crushing it. Like the views are crazy this year. I'm very thankful, but hit that subscribe button because I do latest news here. It's truth to fantasy sports and truth to sports in general. So you're getting a lot. And if you haven't noticed, I had NFL players on this. We had Rashid Shahid on the show a couple episodes ago or last episode. We had uh, we had Trey Benson on the show. We had Kyron Williams on the show. Guys, hit the subscribe button, guys. It's, it's, it's an advantage to you guys, okay? And of course, grab the 16-round draft solution. Sleepers, breakouts, auto players, draft each round. This is the solution. Rankings are dead. You will not win your league with rankings. So make sure you guys do grab the 16-round draft solution. It will put you guys light years ahead of the sheep, okay? Grab it below. Use code SMASH to save. I'm telling you guys, once you guys get 60 rounds, you guys will never look back. Full mock drafts, printable cheat sheet. You're going to get a login as soon as you create an account or as soon as you sign up for it. You're going to get an email, a login. You get access to all my sleepers, breakouts, and optimal players draft each round, avoiding a lot of these guys that I'm going to mention here in this video, all right? So ready to get into the second episode here without further ado. We're not doing latest news and notes here. I'm ready to just dive in. If you want the latest news and notes, I did an episode of live yesterday. I'm doing lives every night, 8.30 here. So that's why you got to turn on the bell. And I'm also doing a 7 a.m. show every morning. So this, like the, like this show, you're going to get the 7 a.m. It's going to be amazing. That's why you got to turn on the bell, hit the subscribe button. All right. So let's dive into it here. The players that suck from every single team, guys, buckle up. Let's start off with the Arizona Cardinals here. Okay. So a lot of these guys aren't even going to be fantasy relevant. There's a guys like I won't even mention like DJ Dallas, believe it or not, is a running back on the Cardinals. I don't think he, he's even worth mentioning because he sucks so bad. Right. So guys, this is about years to wow us. We're not wowed players. So some guys I won't even mention, but I'm trying to talk about players that are somewhat fantasy relevant or could be drafted later, have some sort of ranking and value that's really suck. Okay. So let's go into it. Arizona Cardinals, Michael Wilson, like really? He sucks. Shame on him. Zay Jones sucks. Uh, James Connor, you know, he had one, one, 1000 yard rushing season. Guys, come on. Let's be honest here. Let's not lie to ourselves here, okay? I'm going to throw my voice out here. Now, before this show, I actually recorded this the night before. I did a live just before this, so I already threw my voice out. I can't yell as much as I want to, which is probably good for your ears, but I'm telling you guys, James Conner is overrated, okay? Like I say, he sucks completely, but he's borderline sucks. Michael Carter sucks completely, okay? So that's Arizona Cardinals here. Kyler Murray if Kyler Murray does nothing this year, he's going to be in my suck episode next year. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a break this year. He's had 
couple past years has not wowed me. So Kyler Murray, you're on the borderline. You better step up, man. Okay. Atlanta Falcons here. Oh my God. Talking about sucks. Rondell Moore. Really? He's like the wide receiver three. Ray Ray McLeod. Sounds like that guy's got his head up in the clouds. Are you kidding me? Because he's done nothing. Nothing. Ray Ray McLeod is up in the clouds. Okay. We got Darnell Mooney. No, no, it should be Darnell, you're making me moody if I was drafting you. Because you suck, okay? We're picking it up here. Tyler Algier, buddy, you better have no gear this year. That all rhymes, Tyler Algier, no gear. I don't want to see any first gear, second gear from Algier, nothing from this guy. 186 targets or uh, attempts stolen away from the stud that is Bijan on this team. Tyler Algier, you, sir, suck. And you have no business being on, on any team at all, this or at all, ever. And I'm hearing he's going to take volume away from Bijan. If he does, I'm going to lose it. I don't want him to touch the ball this year at all, period, okay? Let's move on here. The Ravens, Justice Hill, sucks. Rashad Bateman, sucks. Isaiah likely, likely, no, he does not likely sucking. He actually does suck. Gears to wow us, we're not wowed, okay? Um, Justice Hill, we talked about. And that, that's it for that, okay? Buffalo Bills, talk about a lot of sucking going on here. Curtis Samuel. Now that Keon Coleman is doing really well in training camp, people are starting to take notice. I've been talking about this as soon as he got drafted. Curtis Samuel, guys, absolutely sucks, okay? He is the, if I opened up the dictionary and I looked up the word sucks, you're gonna see Curtis Samuel, okay? It's that, it's that, it's that, that type of analogy, right? That type of, ex like, he is the definition of sucking. Khalil Shakir, we'll give him some time. He's he's borderline. Marquise Valdez-Scantling, how is this guy even on our roster? Talking about a player that absolutely sucks, right beside Curtis Samuel in the dictionary, by the word sucks, you got you to gotta talk about MVS. Talk about years to wow, so we're not wowed, okay? Ty Johnson, Sucks as well. Carolina Panthers here. Miles Sanders. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, sir, suck. I had the chance to be a one. Never did it. You absolutely suck. Uh, Adam Thielen, absolute trash. Garbage player. Jonathan Mingo didn't do anything last year. He's kind of borderline as well. Uh, Tommy Tremble. Hoo-hoo, Tommy Tremble. I'm trembling because you suck so bad. Terrible. Uh, Chicago Bears here. DeAndre Swift. I mean, he's lucky he finished a season last year because prior to that, he sucks so bad, so bad, so bad. DeAndre Swift sucks, okay? I'm not I'm sold on him. I'm not. Keenan Allen sucks. He can't finish a season to save his life. I, he busted last year. He should be ashamed of himself. Sucks. Gerald Everett, you're the backup to Komet. You suck too, just for being there. Tyler Badgent, dude, if you didn't suck, they wouldn't have even drafted Caleb Williams. You should be ashamed of yourself. You suck. Moving on to Cincinnati Bengals here. Um, Zach Moss, boss, 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 boss. Gears to wow us, we're not wow. How are you, RB1? You tell me, somebody tell me in the comments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait here. Somebody tell me how the heck Zach Moss is a starter because he sucks. Absolutely sucks. You got Travion Williams, sucks. Jermaine Burton, we're not sure what's gonna happen there. T Higgins. Years to wow us when I wow. You can't even take the starting job. You've had your opportunity with Jamar Chase out, and you still suck. You can't take the wide receiver one job. He's not terrible, but he's not good. Everyone drafted him round two last year. I told you to avoid T. Higgins. Drafted round two, and he busted. So he sucks. He should be ashamed of himself. Uh, and a bunch of like bottom feeder tight ends like Drew Sample, Eric All Jr. I don't know who these guys are. A bunch of bottom feeders I'd never draft on my team. Not worthy. Moving on to the Cleveland Browns, Dante Foreman. He got hurt last year. Year. You know, I kind of feel bad, but he still sucks. I wouldn't even draft him. Dante Foreman should be ashamed of himself. Oh, talking about the ultimate suck right up there with Curtis Samuel, Jerry Judy. Talk about a guy who can't stay healthy for, to save his life. This guy sucks so bad. Jerry Judy should be ashamed of himself. Shame, shame, shame. Already dealing with injuries. Already, we're in preseason. You should be ashamed of yourself. Jerry Judy, you're an embarrassment. You were drafted with high draft capital and you've amounted to nothing. Zilch, zero, nada. You should be ashamed of yourself, guys. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. Jerry Judy, shame, shame, shame. You suck. Absolutely suck. And by the way, guys, do not draft Jerry Judy, okay? Absolutely sucks. Uh, Elijah Moore sucks as well. 
Uh, Jordan Atkins sucks. Oh, here we go. This is, oh, here we go. We're moving on to the Dallas Cowboys here, man. This is going to be good. I'm going to lose my, my head on this one. Are you ready for this one? Before I get to the Dallas Cowboys and tell you who absolutely sucks on this team, make sure you guys head on over right now. Do not hesitate. Do not walk. Run because football is back. Go to mybookie.ag. They are the sponsor of this show. Mybookie.ag. Use code FFC right now. Go create an account, guys. Go create an account. FFC is the code. You get up to $1,000 in welcome bonuses. This is the site I use. This is the site I trust. It doesn't suck, okay? This is like the best site, okay? So it's had years to wow me, and guess what? I'm wowed. Head on over there right now, mybookie.ag. The code you want to use, guys, is FFC. I'm even going to leave a barcode here that you guys can, you know, take out your phone and scan. Head on over there right now, guys, and enhance that game-watching experience, guys. Get in on the action. Football is back. All right, I'm going to be dropping a Saturday DFS shows with my locks of the week and all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. So go create an account. Put down your first deposit up to $1,000 in welcome bonuses. MyBookie.ag had to take a break and give them a shout out because I've been using them for years. I absolutely love them. Okay, MyBookie.ag, FFC is that code. Pause this video, go create an account and come back. We'll get back to this Cowboys thing. All right, all right, go do that. Let's get back to this. Okay, so Dallas Cowboys, Zeke Elliott is the guy I'm talking about. He sucks. And I'm actually really ashamed of the Dallas Cowboys for not picking up a Trey Benson or Marshawn Lloyd or a Braille now, who could have been a workhorse on this team. This team should absolutely be ashamed of themselves. They absolutely suck. And Zeke Elliott sucks. In fact, there's a video of him that actually I'm going to post on my IG tonight. Go back and check because I posted it yesterday where he actually tripped up. Tripped up. The guy's tripping up in, in training camp. He sucks so bad. Trash. This guy shouldn't even be in the NFL. I dislike this guy beyond disliking him. I mean, the Cowboys came together collectively and said, this guy sucks and got rid of him. They got rid of him because they don't want him because he's washed because he's lost his, his job to crappy Tony Pollard, who sucks as well, right? He's a failed backup and he's a failed starter. He loses his job to crappy Tony Pollard, gets shipped off. Tony Pollard fails. And then he goes and fails on the Patriots, averaging like 3.5 yards per carry, whatever he did. Absolutely trash on that team. And then the Cowboys come together like, this guy sucks so bad, let's just bring him back. Like, where's the thought process? There's trash. Don't draft him for fantasy football. Stay away. Brandon Cook sucks. Jalen Tolbert, who I hear is doing well in camp, sucks as well. Don't trust him. Rico Dowell, all these guys. Royce Freeman's on this team. Talk about sucking. Forget it. That sucks, okay? Oh, my God. Denver Broncos. Cortland Sutton, not the greatest. I wouldn't say he sucks, sucks, but he's not that great. Josh Reynolds sucks. Um, Samaj Perine, talk about a running back that sucks. You, sir, suck. Absolute trash. Jared Stidham, Zach Wilson on this team as quarterback sucks. Detroit Lions here. David Montgomery sucks. Now you're going to stick up for David Montgomery saying he's amazing. No, guys, the dude sucks. He sucked on the Bears for years, never really shined. Now he's kind of got a little more pep in his step because he knows he has to keep his job because Gibbs is far superior. But maybe David, uh, David Montgomery sucks. He's overrated. He's not that good. Jameson Williams done nothing. He sucks. Donovan People Jones. Donovan People Jones. Like, what? 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 Why is he in the NFL? What is Donovan People's Jones? Like, what kind of people draft Donovan People? Like, what kind of people even say, hey, man, let's keep this guy in the NFL because he's like, trash. Khalif Raymond sucks. All these receivers suck. They're lucky they got a monitor. That's why they paid him so well because everybody else sucks on this team, okay? Packers here. A.J. Dillon should be ashamed of himself. That guy, I don't even know how he looks himself in the mirror because he sucks so bad. He's supposed to be a football player, but he sucks. He's terrible. Trash player. He can't play. The guy sucks. If he didn't suck, they wouldn't have paid Josh Jacobs as much as they did. If he didn't suck, they wouldn't have drafted Marshawn Lloyd. If he didn't suck, he could have beat crappy Aaron Jones. Dude, he sucks. Trash player. AJ Dillon, okay? Dontavian Wicks. Like, what's the deal with that guy? And the sheep, who they, they suck. By the way, the fantasy football community, the guys giving advice, not the community, the people, not the fans, not you guys, but the guys giving advice, they suck most of all because they're recommending Dontavian Wicks. I'm the only one recommending Romeo Dobbs, who's going to be the one on that team, while everybody else is drafting. Jaden Reed, who's a, who's a good player, right? And Christian Watson sucks too because the guy can't stay healthy to save his life either. But everyone's recommending Dontavian Wicks. He's like the wide receiver 5-6 on that team. Are you nuts? Unless Watson and Reed go down, there's no chance Wicks gets that action, okay? So anyway, um, sucks. Tyler Kraft sucks. AJ Dillon sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. 
Texans here, Cam Akers, Damian Pierce. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. I, for one, am embarrassed because I told everybody to draft Damian Pierce last year. He was primed to be the starter, and he sucked so bad. He sucks so bad. And by the way, some people count how many sucks I do an episode. I'd like to know because, you know, I really want to know me because I think last year I had like a hundred some odd sucks in the episode, but actually there's people that actually count how many times I say suck. I don't know, but it's a lot. I think there's a record probably. I've probably broken the, the Guinness book of records on how many times I say suck in a YouTube video. I don't know, but either way, going back to this, Damian Pierce, you, you should be ashamed of yourself. You suck. Noah Brown sucks. Robert Wood sucks. All these guys, Brevin Jordan sucks. Davis Mills, Case Keenum. Why are these guys even on the team? They suck so bad. Indianapolis Colts, Trey Sermon, Evan Hall, running backs for behind Jonathan Taylor. They absolutely suck. That's why I like Jonathan Taylor for the upside because the rest of the team sucks. Josh Downs sucks. Alec Pierce sucks. Um, and I don't know, know who these, bot, these bottom feeder um, tight ends are like Ky Kylan Granson and Will Mallory and Mo Ali Cox. Mo Ali sucks more like it because he's done nothing. Years to wow us, we're not wowed, okay? A shot of water. I should have had more water here before this episode. Okay, moving on. Jacksonville. Tank Bigsby should be ashamed of himself. Now, he's going to get an uptick in production, but he sucked last year. should be ashamed of himself. Ernest Johnson sucks. Gabe Davis sucks. Parker Washington. Like, who's Parker Washington? Who I this whole team sucks. My, uh, Kirk sucks. Everyone thinks Kirk is good. He's not. Kirk lost his job, dudes, to, to Calvin Ridley. And you think he's the one right now? Shame on you guys. He's a beta, too. It bring me, give me Brian Thomas everywhere because Kirk sucks. Okay. Moving on to the Chiefs, Clyde Edwards Lair. This guy was drafted in the first round and he sucked. Everyone's telling you draft Clyde Edwards Lair round one, except for me, because I knew he'd suck and he sucks every single year. Can't stay healthy. Trash player. I don't even know why he's on the Chiefs. I have no idea. Kadarius Tony talking about another guy who absolutely sucks. How is this guy still on the team? They're, I think they were like in training camp, they were using him as a running back. Trash player. Do not, under any circumstances, draft yourself. Kadarius sucks. Tony. By the way, his middle name is Sucks and everybody knows it, okay? Um, who else we got here? Sky Moore sucks. Noah Gray sucks. A lot of sucking going on. Chargers here. Joshua Palmer sucks. DJ Shark sucks. All the Quentin Johnson. You had the opportunity, dude, to really shine last year. What did you do? You went and sucked. I watched training camp. You have a chance to shine. Be the wide receiver one. What do you do? You drop balls and you suck. Quentin Johnson, you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. I don't know how these guys look in the mirror. I, I really don't know. They're like looking at, like they look at the mirror and say, I'm a football player, but they suck that bad. That's it's embarrassing. Donald Farham Jr. sucks. Stone Smart? No, 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 no. Stone Sucks is what, what your name should be because you suck. I haven't even seen you on the field. Okay, Los Angeles Rams here. Demarcus Johnson, Tutu Atwell. A guy's named Tutu. I, I mean, his name even sucks, okay? Uh, Colby Parkinson, Ronnie Rivers sucks. Boston Scott sucks. Dude, there's a lot of sucking going on. Jimmy Garoppolo, Stenson Bennett. Who's that? You think he's a, running, a quarterback three? Sucks. Uh, let's keep going here. Vegas Raiders. Oh my God. Talking about sucking here. Alexander Madison is right up there with Curtis Samuel and Kadarius Tony as a player. That's absolute garbage player. The guy can't play at all. Sucks. Madison has no business being in the NFL. He had a chance to be a starter. I knew he was never a starter worthy. He was a chance to be a starter. And what do you do? He goes and sucks, has zero touchdowns as a starter. Talking about sucking. This guy's right in there is Alexander Madison absolute garbage player okay michael mayer had an opportunity to do something he didn't do anything last year i can't say he really sucks but he does uh um we got dolphins odell beckham jr the most overrated player in the history of overrated players in fantasy and reality odell beckham jr sucks he's on the dolphins trash uh we got uh who else is there jeff wilson jr sucks let's move on vikings aaron jones sucks the Packers knew it. That's why they got rid of him. Trash player sucks. Is Aaron Jones trash, garbage, sucks, garbage, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. And there's a bunch of bottom feeders on this team. Not even worth mentioning, like Josh Oliver at tight end, Sam Darnold at quarterback. By the way, I don't know how anybody's drafting Justin Jefferson with Sam Darnold as a quarterback. The only thing that goes his way is a ton of volume. If Sam Darnold can efficiently get the ball 
to Jefferson consistently 150 times. You got yourself a round one return on investment. If not, he's going to be a major bust because Sam Darnold sucks. You should be drafting Jefferson because Sam Darnold sucks. All right, let's keep going here. The Patriots here, we got Antonio Gibson, Antonio Fumbles Gibson, I should say, sucks. Kendrick Bourne sucks. KJ Osborne sucks. Juju Smith sucks. The entire wide receiver core minus a potential Jalen Polk, Baker, or Douglas breakout year. The entire team sucks. Jacoby Brissett sucks. The entire team sucks here. Jamichael Hasty. I'm not being hasty when I say that you suck, all right? Uh, New Orleans Saints here. Uh, Kendry Miller didn't do anything. Jamal Williams sucks. James Robinson, you should be ashamed of yourself. Years to wow us. We're not wow. You suck. Uh, We got, uh, who else is there? Cedric Wilson, Foster Monroe, blah, 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 blah. It's all suck. All right, New York Giants here. Eric Gray and Devlin Suckletary. Exactly. Devin Singletary, I've changed his name to Devin Suckletary. He had a decent year last year, product of the office, but sucked for years on the Bills. I'm not so. Another guy has no business being the RB1 on this team. Absolutely sucks. Wandell Robinson, Darius Slayton, Jalen Hyatt, Isaiah McKenzie, Isaiah Hodgkins, and Allen Robinson. You guys should all be ashamed of yourself. You suck. Malik Neighbors was drafted, and he overshadows you guys in talent. By a bazillion, because all you guys should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely sucks, okay? Uh, Jets here, uh, Israel Abaconda, never got the chance. Just never got the chance. Uh, maybe there could be something there. Alan Lazard sucks. Xavier Gibson sucks. A lot of suck. Tyrod Taylor, all these guys suck on the Jets. Eagles here. Uh, who else we got here? Johnny Wilson, Paris Campbell should be ashamed of himself. CJ Uzuma um, sucks. Absolutely sucks, okay? Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers here. Corderell Patterson sucks. Calvin Austin sucks. Van Jefferson. Quaz Watkins. Like, really? How's this guy still on a team? They all suck. All right, guys. Seattle. Um, Tyler Lockett sucks. People say, no, he doesn't suck. He sucks, man. He's not that good. They wouldn't have drafted Jackson Smith. They wouldn't have had Metcalf. I know it's got to be a three-headed monster situation. I know he's safe, but he's just very boring. Uh, Geno Smith sucks. Sam Howell sucks. This whole team sucks. Kenneth Walker's okay. DK Metcalf's okay, but very expensive and fancy. They all suck. We got like four more teams here, guys. Buckle up. Let's rip through it. If you haven't gotten 16 rounds to get players that are really good, you need to get 16 rounds so you don't draft these sucky players or listen to the sheep telling you to draft these players because they suck. All right, guys? Let's go. 49ers here. Jordan Mason could have an opportunity this year if McCaffrey doesn't do well. But Kyle Juszczyk sucks. Uh, Jacob Cowing like, sucks. I may have mentioned players here that may be rookies somewhere. I'm just in a suck episode here. I'm just kind of zoned out. I'm tired. I'm just tired of all the sucking going on. But listen, if you had years to while, we're not wild, or I haven't heard of you, or you're not relevant yet, you definitely suck, okay? Joshua Dobbs sucks, 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 sucks. Logan Thomas sucks. 49ers suck, all right? CMC is going to suck this year. We're going to be very upset when he breaks his leg and he's a first-round pick, and he's like, oh, Joe told me so. You'll remember that. Don't worry. Uh, Jaleel McLaughlin, what have you done? Trey Palmer, we're, t- we're on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers now. Uh, Chase Edmonds, years to wow us. We're not wow. It absolutely sucks. I remember a year, year or two ago, they were saying Chase Edmonds draft him. I'm like, he sucks. All right, Tennessee Titans, Tony Pollard, absolute trash. I don't know why they paid this guy. This guy should have been completely let go and onto the CFL. Tajay Spears is the one there. He's the guy. Hassan Hoskins sucks. Traylon Burke sucks. Tyler Boyd sucks. Nick Westbrook, I don't know what his last name, sucks. Maybe just make it sucks because he sucks so bad. A lot of sucking. Mason Rudolph, how is Mason Rudolph still in the NFL? He's the backup to Levis. Sucks! And the last team here, Austin Eckler should be ashamed of yourself. You suck. Brian Robinson sucks. Terry McLaurin, not the greatest. These guys have some upside with the boost of Jaden Daniels because I think he's good. Zach Ertz sucks. Cole Turner at tight end sucks. Jamison Crowder, how is this guy also in the NFL? Absolute trash. And Jahan Dotson had the opportunity to wow us. And guess what? We're not wowed. Man, that's a lot of sucking going on. Guys, listen. If I mentioned a player's name here, under no circumstance, draft them. That being said, there's still some names that were good last year that are going to bust this year. Guys like Nico Collins, who's going to bust. DJ Moore is going to bust this year. Puka Nakua could potentially bust this year. So not just, just because I said they suck, you know, there's other guys that are somewhat good or had a good year last year that could actually you know, bust as well. Okay, guys? So this is not a full bust episode. This is just a suck episode, okay? Years to wow us. We're not wow. They haven't done anything, all right? So if you guys are new to the channel, smash the tap and slap. Hit the thumbs up. Go grab 16 rounds. Of course, guys, hit the thumbs up. Go grab 16 rounds so you guys know who all the optimal players to draft in each round so that they don't suck, all right? 
I'm out of energy, guys. I'm, I'm just all, I'm just, these guys are exhausting. There's such a letdown for fantasy. You want guys that are top of the jet tap charts, the alphas, the guys that can wow you, the guys that are explosive, the guys that are talented. That's who you should be going for. Now, I've always hear people in the comments say, well, Joe, if these guys suck so bad, you, told, you listed everybody. Grab 16 rounds. Your eyes are going to be like wide open. Like, oh, now that makes sense, Joe. I got the alphas. I follow the cutting system. Consistency, upside, durability depth, durability, depth, and youth. I've got the alpha. Joe knows what he's talking about. And bam, you're going to win your leagues, all right? Do not draft players that suck. Do not draft fantasy football busts. Aim high in the depth chart, all right? Make sure you guys subscribe. Lion mentality. I'm exhausted. Go have a great day. I'm going to go now. Content rolling to you daily. Go follow on all my social channels and grab 16 rounds. All right, guys? Oh, yeah, mybookie.ag. FFC is the code. Go create an account, guys. All right? FFC, mybookie.ag. We'll talk soon, guys. I appreciate you. Fantasy Football 2024 is back. Let's get it. We'll talk soon.